Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, so if you look at the Pisces glyph, it's like a fish, right? But if you connect it, it becomes a DNA double helix um, spiral. So it's kind of interesting that Jesus is kind of in our DNA because he fulfilled the Pisces messianic prophecies. And, uh, you know, the fish symbolizes that kind of in a way. And, you know, the fish was right before mammals, too. And all water, I mean, all life started in water. And right before Pisces is Aquarius, the water bear. So maybe the zodiac is is hiding like a hidden history of, you know, evolution or biology. Um, I'm not saying the ram was before anything, Aries. I'm just saying, you know, it could be symbolic of something. Um, anyway, if you look at Isaiah two, uh, it's very interesting because Isaiah two pretty much explains the Groxed. I mean, Isaiah two. The specific fulfillment of that prophecy to me in my eyes is the Grox. Let me read it to you. And it shall come to pass in the last days, which is now, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. The Grox is saying specifically, we haven't had Google Earth till like 2003 or 5, and now God is giving us new ways of seeing his, you know, creation. In Google Earth, you do see faces. When you go on Washington, D.C., there is a jack-in-the-box in that box. There's a clown figure with the hat. There, There is a hidden figure throughout all the hieroglyphs, okay? He's 100% onto something. So anyway, Isaiah 2-2 fulfills that. And Isaiah 19, oh my God. It hides so much. I'm going to put it in the in the little boxes of text because I don't want to read it because it's boring in a video. Isaiah 19 hides the internet, which is nine, uh, verse 9. It hides like emasculating men in the future is 16. It hides Jesus. Once again, the Old Testament hides Jesus in uh, 1920. And it even talks about the elites uh, starting sacrifices and shootings for the, you know, New World Order set up in 1921. And then 22 is about the conversion of scholars like me, conversion of the Egyptians, which means scholarly knowledge, um, to Israel. I mean, it's crazy. And of course, Swedenberg's End Times is uh, 23, sorry. Um, it, when you zoom out, okay, when you really zoom out and think about it, or once you know, actually, because there's evidence of it, Illuminati are Christians. Illuminati are 100% for Jesus Christ. They pretend to be Luciferian because it's all a front, because they already have grace and mercy. And so they are pretending to be evil and shit and are evil because they do have grace and mercy. But that doesn't mean they still believe in Jesus and they think they will ascend. But just in case, they're going to be in the Colorado bunkers way underground. Um, just like President Obama was reported to have stayed uh, during one potential earthquake or some shit. Um, anyway, so Illuminati are Christian. They go by the word and they make all Christians on TV look stupid and hickish and dumb. And, and a lot of them are. But, <laughs> okay, so there's one one Islam. One, I mean, one Quran. There's one, uh, well, there's three forms of Judaism. Orthodox reform and um, something else. It, you know, there's like one Buddhism, but there's a million Christianities. Why is that? Because someone's trying to confuse you. Not just because it's a popular and people do what they want to do. It's because the Illuminati want to confuse you. There's only one Holy Bible. It's written in Hebrew and Greek. That's the Holy Bible. Get your own translator. You can get Strong's Concordance app for a dollar and look at the translation yourself. But anyway... I mean, it's so easy to distort something like that. And that's what they're trying to do. So, <laughs> wake up. And one one thing about firearms and Second Amendment rights, Sam Adams, not the beer, the guy, um, he was a founding father, uh, <laughs> he says a militia is composed of free citizens. So, a founding father said explicitly, a militia means the, the free citizens, everyone. So now there's no reason to argue the Second Amendment anymore. A well-regulated militia 
being necessary for the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. A well-regulated militia. Sam Adams, the founding father, says the militia is really the free citizens. Cut, end of story, no more debate. It's all for gun control and to take over your fucking lives. Look at a history book.